Okay, so we have this problem, and uh, it, it includes steam. Okay. Steam initially saturated at 2.05 megapascal passes through 10.1 standard steel pipe for a total distance of 152 meters. The steam line is insulated with a 5.08 cm thickness of 85% magnesium. For an ambient temperature of 22 degrees centigrade, what is the quality of the steam which arises at its destination? If the mass flow rate is 0.125 kilogram per second okay we had a table here where uh, where pressure at a saturated phase is 2.05 megapascal 213.67 degrees centigrade temperature and the enthalpy F is 914.52 enthalpy FHG and uh, 1885.5 kJ per kilogram and HG for 2008 is 2,800 kilogram kilojoule per, per kilogram. Okay, let's do the math. So what do we have here now is we do have a pipe. And the pipe has a total length of 152 meters and we're going to get a quarter section of the pipe this is the insulation with a value of K 85% magnesia and that is the heat the thickness of the insulation is 5.08 centimeters and the diameter of the pipe the diameter of the pipe is 10.1 centimeter so we have the value of we just here 5.05 centimeter okay and we will be going to indicate that as radius 1 and this will now become radius 2 which is equal to 10.13 the sum of the thickness of insulation and the radius of the pipe 10.13 so how are we going to solve for the steam or the quality of the steam which arises at its destination when it goes out here the mass okay so we have an ambient temperature of air which is 22 degrees centigrade we had the temperature of the steam passing through which is equal to 213.67 213.67 as per steam table okay as per steam table so start what we're looking for is the value of x start we can able to get the value of heat by using this formula delta T over lana R2 over R1 over 2 pi K L plus plus 1 over 
area area of the pipe and uh, convective coefficient film the pipe itself so start we have this 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 but without with no value for this well ho for a still air you can google it it is equivalent to 9.36 watt meter squared kelvin this is the value of the convective film coefficient or oh, no, no 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 yes yes for air still air okay 9.36 watt meter squared kelvin so the area we have the pipe here okay let's assume that we're going to cut it on this side and we will going to have a rectangular shape and this will now be the length and circumference which is equal to pi dl or 2 pi r2 l so now the area is now equal to pi 2 pi r2 l which is equal to 2 pi the value of radius 2 is 10.13 centimeter multiplied by the length which is 152 meters so we do not have uh, same unit we're going to convert this one into meter by dividing it by of course 100 so 2 pi times 10.13 times 1 2 over 100 now the area is equal to 96.74 6 meter square so let's now compute for the total heat pass through the pipe okay. so to change of T from hot to cold it is 200 13.67 minus 22 degrees centigrade all over ln of R2 which is 10.13 mm. all over by R1 which is 5.05 .05, all over 2 by K the conduct the coefficient of induction for magnesium which is equal to 0 0.069 you can google it meter kelvin multiply by the length which is 152 meters plus do not forget 1 over the area 96.746 meters squared and the constant of HO for the still air enthalpy conductive um, coefficient which is 9.36 meter squared Kelvin so as you can see the only unit that we left behind is watts 
So now the height is now equal to now it's equal to two one three point six seven minus twenty two over ln of ten point one three over five point zero five all over 2 pi multiplied by 0 0.069 0 0.069 by 152 plus 1 over 96.746 plus 9.36 no, it's not plus actually, it's multiplication. I'm sorry for that. So we had a value of 16,427.27 watts. But that is not a question. We were looking for the quality of the steam. So for that, uh, we know that the uh, heat is also equal to mass flow rate multiplied by the change of enthalpy. So what enthalpy we are we are talking about? So. This enthalpy is equal to H1 minus H2. So, where are we going to get the data for this? the pipe we have entering mass leaving mass enthalpy 1 and the enthalpy 2 energy balance okay? so there's a change in enthalpy through the traveling of the mass itself because it loses heat okay there's, there's a change in phase because of lost heat okay so do we have the value for this of course we do have the value for this as per steam table the enthalpy at the gaseous state is or the vapor state rather is equal to 2800.00 kilojoule per kilogram Okay. but we do not have the value for the H2 and from this we do have the quality here and we do also have the quality here we are looking for the quality at the end of the pipe the pipe is 152 meters at its final destination we have to look for the quality of the steam that's it so with this equation we will be able to find out what is the enthalpy here by using that equation we will now be able to determine what is the quality of the steam okay so the change in enthalpy is already given okay it is It is where is my paper? It is it can be found here. Okay, it's already given because you just go into substitute the value of 
the heat which is equivalent to now we're going to get the value of kilowatts so that is equal to 16.427 kilowatts because we're looking for kilos kilojoule okay equate it with the mass flow rate 0 0.125 kilogram per second and of course the value of h1 which is 2800 2800 minus h2 there you go simple mathematics we will be able to get the value of the h2 or the enthalpy 2 enthalpy leaving the pipe 16.427 equal to 0 0.125 multiplied by 2a00 minus alpha x thank you for the calculator ship solve okay so that is the value of the enthalpy leaving the pipe 2668.584 kilo kilo joule per kilogram yes we had it so the next step is we're going to get the final answer which is the steam quality of the steam we may remember that uh, getting the quality of the steam we do have the formula which is equal to h is equal to hf plus x hfg and this is the quality of the steam we're looking for so what what enthalpy are we going to use for this of course the one that we're going to use is the enthalpy at this leaving point okay that is 2668.584 equal to hf at the saturated pressure of the steam which is 914.52 kilojoule per kilogram plus the x we are looking for and the hfg which is 1885.5 okay uh, by doing simple algebra we will be able to find the value of x 2668.584 equal to 914.52 plus alpha x 1885.5 ship sold now the value of x is approximately equal to 9 0 0.93029 or equal to approximately equal to 93 percent 0 0.03 93.03 percent is now the quality of the steam at the leaving point of the pipe so there you go that's the answer thank you